Hi friends, Glenda Mala here and welcome to my craft room. I got my shades on, I got my t-shirt on. This is part of the stuff from Las Vegas. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to show you all of my swaps. And um, all the, uh, the not all the gifts, because I can't find a couple of them. I know they're in here somewhere, but the, some of the gifts that we were given over there. So I can't really see out of these. Hi, Marsha. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read. They fit over my glasses, but it kind of loses. It loses um, something in the translation when I have my glasses on. So. Oh, we got people here. Marsha, Norma, Yvonne, Connie, Holly. Hey, Holly, I sent you a message. Did you get it? Okay, so I'm in my VIP group. So this means that I can't tell on StreamYard who you are, just Facebook users. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to pop back and forth. But anyways, do you like the shades? Let's put that down. Put this up. You like the shades? Aren't they cool? Are you ready? They say stamping up on them. Yeah, these are my eyes without the. Okay, so the shades were a gift. They were, I'll tell you how we got them. And then here's my t shirt. See, it says Love Stampin' Up. And we went to the Cirque du Soleil Love Show when we were down there. And that was another one of the, the gifts from Stampin' Up. Those tickets are $250 a piece. Oh, my God. Well, there you are. <laughs> it was, everything was really quite blurry. But see, I can wear them over my glasses. So then I can read and see and still be cool. I'm wondering if these this glows in the dark. I'm not going to be able to tell because, of course, I got a lot of lights on. Hi, Debbie. Okay, so I'm, you've seen enough of me. Hi, Kathy. And my cool shirt, it says in the right there, stamping up. So... We received these just before we went to the Cirque du Soleil show and we were asked to wear them to the show. And everybody was wondering what was going on with these 700 people walking around with the same t-shirt on. It was amazing. I really felt hampered. Okay, let me flip you. Enough of me. Okay, so there's the glasses with the Stampin' Up! logo on the side of them and 35 years because they're celebrating their 35th anniversary this year they came in these this really cute case and it has of course an a cleaner with also has the logo on them oh good good because um holly i do have some here so if you need them you can come and get them and just replace them. I I would pick them up, but I don't know when I'm going up that way again. And honestly, I just assumed they would be in my bag. Okay, so the, anyways, there's our there's our shades. And then also in our bag was this cute little, kind of like a tackle box, don't you think? Has all sorts of stuff. And look at those shake and shimmer on there. Okay, so let's open this, which I haven't done yet. I don't even know what's in here. I did come home with 23 pounds of sugar-free stuff, though, which is a blessing because that's kind of what I went down there for. Um, sugar-free cake mixes and what else did I get? Sugar-free pudding, sugar-free candy, sugar-free icing. Um, sugar-free melting chocolate. 
Hey, there's somebody else. Oh, hi, Pat. All right. So it comes in this cute little acrylic box. And it is a box. These are push pins. Lethal little things. I guess if I turn it around, it'll be the right way up. We have a pad of paper. And every sheet has the Stampin' Up! logo on it. And that's a nice thick pad of paper, too. Then we have pins. There's always pins whenever we go there. And we kind of, oh, they're not pins. I told you I haven't opened this yet. These are magnets. Oh. Hey, what do they stick to? They're magnets. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're sticking. They're sticking to my base that's metal there. So there's Las Vegas, an arrow stamping up, and a picture of the strip, the Las Vegas strip. Those are cool. I thought they were pins, and they're not. They're, they're magnets. I'm excited. This is probably a pin, though, if it comes out. Yeah, that's a pin. So it's a Stampin' Up! backstage pin. Oh, good. Good, Holly. I'm glad you figured it out. Awesome. Okay, and then these are paper clips. Let's see? They're paper clips. There's two of them. Oh, this is so cute. All right, put that back in its hole. And then, finally, there's two pins. They've got wax on the end of them. And I don't know what color they are. So let me grab a scrap of white because I was prepping today for my trucking class and I have a piece with a whole bunch of holes in it. Oh, it's orange. Okay, what color do you think this one is? Hi, Carmen. What color do you think this one is? So this one is orange. It's got Stampin' Up! on the thingy there. And this one, what color do you think it is? It also says Stampin' Up! Any idea, guesses what color that one is? No. Oh, it's black. Oh, it writes really nice. Yay! It's black. So there's the orange and black. I'm excited. I love pens. Pens are my jam. I always used to dream of working in a stationery store, which would be lethal because I love stationery so much, which is a good thing I got into what I'm doing because it's basically just stationery, right? Ink, stamps, paper. Okay, so that was in our goodie bag. So I didn't tell you the story about these. So there was um, a welcome party on Thursday night. It was called Swaps and Sweets. So they had a whole bunch of canapes and sweets and like a whole, enough food to feed an army, of course. And there was this wall, this black wall with funky lighting and had holes in it. And you would walk up like a bunch of holes, different holes. And you would walk up and they handed you a ticket I don't have it anymore because, of course, they took it. They handed you a ticket that was in your um, bag. And you walked up to the wall and you handed it. And from the wall, this hand came out like this. It was in a white glove and it came out of the hole. And you, hang on, let me try that piece of, pretend this is my, this is my ticket, right? The hand came out of the wall and you put the ticket in your hand and it went away. And it came back with this 
It was the creepiest thing, but it was so fun. Anyways, I guess she had to be there. Okay. Um, this is um, uh, C's candies. My friend, my friend Kim made these for us. They're from California, and she's from California. And these are huckleberry saltwater taffy that my friend Leanne brought for us. And I haven't tried one yet, but my mouth has been watering because I love saltwater taffy and I love blackberry. Was it blackberry? Maybe it's huckleberry. Huckleberry, I do believe. This one, I think, was um, given to me by Kathy. Kathy House is a new friend I met. She is an absolute hoot. And it's just, um, I was going to say bacon wrapped chocolate. Nope, it's not bacon wrapped chocolate. It's those Hershey nuggets wrapped up in designer paper. Isn't that pretty? And then my silver sister Elizabeth rented um, a private cabana for all day Thursday down at the pool. And because Thursday night they were we were having the big reception also in the pool area, they upgraded us to a private cabana with services and a private pool. Ooh la la, $1,250 US a day. That's not what we paid because we paid for the little one and got the big one. So she made a bunch of these for all of the international visitors who were going to come. Because it, was, it wasn't like, this is our cabana go away. It was, um, this is our cabana, come and visit. Come and swim in the pool. They, we had water, we had lunch service. It was amazing. Who said that? Who said that? Oh, <laughs> Leanne, wasn't it you that gave me one of those? I thought it was you. And thanks for watching. Anyways, I, she had one left, so I snagged it because it's so pretty. And I'm going to send it down to my friend um, Karen in Arizona because Karen gave me these two items. So we haven't known each other very long. And uh, we only, we've only met online. We're kind of like accountability buddies. So that means that we meet every other week and set goals of what we're going to get done in a week or in the two weeks. So she lives in Southern Arizona and she brought me a couple of items. So I'm going to show you the t-shirt. And the best thing of all is that I actually fit the t-shirt. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? I love it. I wore it all day yesterday. Oh, it was Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I can mail you some of the candies. I'll share. <laughs> okay, so this is the t-shirt that um, Karen brought for me. And she brought me this sucker. You see what it says on there? Uh-huh. Are you ready for this? If you don't like bugs, hide your eyes because you're going to see a bug. You ready? There is a real scorpion in there. Okay, these are not to eat. She said this is just to show my grandchildren because she figured they'd get a hoot out of it. Yeah, that t-shirt is amazing. And I looked at the size and because it's size large, and I thought, mm, yeah, that's not going to fit. But it fit! And then we went to pick up um, my blue shirt, and I said, I don't know whether I ordered a large or an extra large, and the guy that was handing them out, the stamping up employee that was handing them out, looked at me and said, ah, large for sure. And that's this, and it fits! Who knew? That's not a bug. It's evil there. <laughs> I bet it is. 
Canada was supposed to have good saltwater taffy, which I miss. Oh, who said that? Marsha. I'll eat them. Well, we can do a Zoom and I'll eat, eat one for you and one for me, Leanne. Oh, <laughs> it was you. I thought it was. Okay. Leanne is still trying to catch up from sleep from the weekend too. So also in our goodie bag from Stamping Up are these. They are felt and they're embroidered felt and they're stickers. They're not, we all thought they were patches, but they're stickers. They have sticky on the back of them. So I don't know what I'm going to use, do with these. There, so there's that one. And there was this one. Well, I guess it goes this way. And Las Vegas. And the arrow. And the strip, the Las Vegas strip. I don't know in this cute little bag. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm not a sticker person and I've been collecting stickers. So maybe I'm going to have to start a sticker book or maybe I'll give them away. Maybe I'll give them away as team prizes. I'll keep the, the uh, Las Vegas one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I have a couple of team parties coming up. Oh, Connie says, that's not a bug, that's evil. <laughs> oh, all right, I got this. Don't know from who. It's got a Yorkie patty inside, peppermint patty. Isn't that cute? As you're walking around, people just hand you stuff. Scrapbooking. Oh, that would be an idea, Debbie, if I scrapbooked. Maybe I should, maybe I should scrapbook some pictures from the trip. And then Vicki Sewell created these. They are paper swatches. Some of these demonstrators, I tell you, they I don't know where they have the time to do all of this. Like this is a lot of work doing this. I haven't opened this yet either. So it's got a cute little tag that says life is better when you're crafting. We did get spoiled. Oh, hello, Marilyn. How nice to have you join us too. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in here. Huckleberry saltwater taffy. I just wanted to make sure that I had the right Okay, so this is a piece of all of our cardstock. And they all have the name and what family they belong to and the number. Yes, sometimes you don't know the demos and they just walk up to you and hand you stuff. It is the coolest thing. I tell you. And then um, I don't know whether any of you know Julie Gilson. She ties bows by hand. So she, I know her from the very first incentive trip I ever took to Thailand is where I met um, Julie. And she she ties amazing bows. You know how I use a bow tire? She does it on her fingers. So she did a, a little demonstration for us and I I recorded it because one of the one of my other accountability partners wanted to wanted a video on how to do it. So I was given this by another demonstrator down there. It's a little keychain thing. Cute. Okay, put that in there. And I don't know how I ended up with two of these, but I got two. And I, I don't remember who gave us this, but it's just, it's a, it's a cute little clear ruler, probably from the dollar store. And then she, this we used to have washi tape. 
um, a couple of years ago, we had little stamping up boxes and washi tape. So she had a bunch and she just put a piece of washi tape right on the, on the ruler. Oh, there's something in there. What's in there? Oh, her name was Jen Pleasant. And she's an, a demonstrator from California. Yeah, I ended up with two of them. Lucky me. Maybe I'll have to give one away. Maybe there'll be a draw in my VIP group. Okay, who is that that says? Oh, Connie. Yeah, she's ama amazing. That sweet gal from California. That is right. Okay, this is from another demonstrator. And it's a little emery board, but it's all butterflies. Isn't that cute? These, I tell you, these demonstrators are absolutely amazing because that's just a little piece of designer paper that's folded, stapled, and put a little sentiment on it. And then my silver sister, Shauna, from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, gave us one of these little things. Um, it's called a colorful colorful sleeve or something. Oh, it's in here. She told us what they were. These plastic Dollarama colorful sleeves with snap closures are just the right size to hold and protect a small set of hand stamp cards. They come in packs of five and can be found in the craft section. So today, today I tootled my way up to Dollarama because I had to go to the post office and it's right next door. And I found them. We have them. They're not in the craft section. They're in the um, stationary section right at the back end. You can't see where I'm pointing, right at the back end. I was despair that I couldn't find them and the very last place I looked. So she gave us some tea in it and a dollar, a chocolate coin that she brought back from the Czech Republic. And it features the image of the Prague Castle my husband and I learned when we were there this past spring that Czech Republic does not use euros. There you go. So this is chocolate. One Karuna. And I could, and I knew all that because it's right here. Thanks, Shauna. So I tootled up there today and I got a bunch. So my Club gals, you're going to receive one of these because it's an amazing idea for taking your cards home after your class. Maybe I should, I know, I should go up and get a whole bunch for um, the create the winter creative escape. Oh, yes, Kathy has them too. Yeah. Maybe I should go buy a whole bunch for the creative escape. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Okay. And then another one of my accountability buddies, I have four accountability buddies. Maxine made this. It's that, I don't know what that designer paper is called, but you know, it's that one with all the, all the buildings in it. Are you ready? It's a snackle box. And it opens up. Is it Lay Shop? Thank you. It would be nice, um, Marsha. And I have I have a an out of Canada option if you want to join us for the virtual um create winter creative escape using the Berry Christmas. I think I'll even send my out of out of country peeps one of those. Okay, I'm going back to Dollarama tomorrow before everybody gets up there and finds them. Anyways, there's the box. So it also has a lid that comes off. And look at all the goodies. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to eat any of it because it's important for me to show it to you the way. Well, I did. I ate a candy. There was another candy there. It was um, a maple candy, and I love maple candy. 
But I just want to point out, hi, Dimity. Do you see what's in here? This is probably why I haven't eaten anything from here. But that's a freaking frog. There is a frog in here. Leanne, did you know? Oh, you didn't get one. Sorry. Um, I just can't imagine eating a frog. Look. They had these on the ship in Norway, too. These little gummy frogs. Frogs. Can you imagine? Frogs. Anyways, um, Maxine did an amazing job of this. And it has all these little dividers in here. See the little dividers? So I'm going to repurpose this, figure out how she did it, and we'll make one on a Thursday night. Then you guys will know how to do them too. I don't have lace shops, but I will find something. Oh, Carmen was at Dollarama and, Dollarama and got some frogs, up some frogs, some envelopes. And this what is from another one of my accountability buddies, Debbie, who lives in Washington. So I have an accountability buddy that is down in Southern Arizona and it's just her and I, and then I, there's a group of four of us for, and we're all demonstrators. There's a group of four demonstrators, um, myself and Kim from Northern California Maxine from White Rock and Debbie from Washington. And we meet every other week and do our, our accountability thing. We never met in person until we were in Las Vegas. And it was like we'd known each other forever. It was amazing. Anyway, she made this cute little box. So these are the old um, wood mount stamp cases that we used to have. And then she put a handle on there and decorated it inside with designer paper and even put our name on it. Do you want to see what's in there? They must have known you were coming and frog legs. Oh, oh, frog legs are not good. I can't imagine eating a frog leg. That Just the thought of it makes me puke. With so many people there, how did you meet? Well. Who is that? Marsha. Um, it wasn't hard for most of them because we made a prior arrangements. And I roomed with Maxine and Kim. Debbie was down there with her husband and um, Karen was down there with her husband. But the three of us roomed together. And then Leanne and Shauna were right next, well, across the hall from us. So it was really quite cool. And although it seems like 750 people is a lot, but because we know so many of, like, we know each other, a lot of us, it's not hard to run into people. Okay, so this is, there's, um, it's put on with the, the screws that come with the handles. I'm sure they're really good and you can have all of mine. And she gave me four cards and they have her name on. So I'm going to show you those when it comes to the cards. It has candy. This is a, this is a, a backstage survival kit. Some Purell hand sanitizer. Some, it, skin moisturizer boy i wish i had to remember that was in there because i could have used that oh look it's i was going to put some on but i think it's sealed yeah it was so dry down there man i tell you i was there for six days i came home my skin was like was like a reptile oh that's lovely stuff oh and it's not flowery smelling. Ooh, I like that. What is that? Melaleuca. Ah, that's why. Melaleuca is really nice. Okay, so that was our that was our um, 
survival kit. And I gave my my accountability friends um, a chocolate orb, a, a cho- hot chocolate elixir orb from Chocolate Tofino in a cute little package. And I think if I haven't, I think I posted it already, but if not, it's coming. Um, and I gave them the instructions because, of course, you know, Tofino is one of my favorite places on earth. So I really had to share it. It was a nice survival kit. Okay. Oh, yes, Marsha. I'm not used to the dry air. Um, it's really moist here. Okay, so I'm going to try and take these out because some of them are fancy folds. But I want to make sure I keep the name of the person with them. So let's have a, yep, this one is a fancy fold. Look at this. How easy is that? That's just a sheet of cardstock. Eight and a half by 11. You cut it di diagonally. You score it at four and a quarter and you score it at five and a half. And that folds like that. Oh, who's making pierogies? Hi, Lena. Ooh, I love pierogies. I haven't made them in years. Anyways, this, uh, this is by Debbie. Northern California, Debbie. We'll have to make that some night in my my Thursday class. Where am I going to put these that I don't have an avalanche? And another one by Debbie. You're making them again tomorrow? Nice. Maybe I... Oh, if the road wasn't closed, Lena, I'd come over. Okay. It is Lena saying that, right? Yes. I like the card too, Marsha. Okay, so this one uses the new Sending Cheer bundle. Uh, and she's used Winkostella on there. Cute little, a cute little Christmas card. And another, Debbie gave us four swap cards. Can you imagine? Four. I felt bad because I didn't do a lot of stuff to take down there. I'm going to have to make sure next time I do. And this one uses the new, this is layering leaves and best occasions. May your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry, and your new year bright. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Carmen, maybe we need to do a road trip to Lena's tomorrow. Oops, let's put this in there. Pierogies, and the other day somebody was talking about cabbage rolls. So now I'm craving pierogies and cabbage rolls. Yeah, that's that's a really nice Christmas card. And you don't need a Christmas stamp set to do it. Okay, this is another one of Debbie's, another fancy fold. Eight and a half by 11. And it is just, okay, so five and a half by 11. And then you measure up three inches and cut from the tip down. Colors are beautiful. I love bubble bath and it goes really well with berry burst. It's a beautiful card. <laughs> oh, Lena, you don't know what you're saying. Sure to. Okay, so this one, oh, I participated in um, a fun fold swap by Lauren Urbanus. Urbanus? Anyways, she made us each a thank you gift. And I thought it was really cool because she included this. So you scan it with your phone and you get the instructions on how to make this little box. So do you want to get a screenshot? I'll hold it there for a couple of seconds. You can get a screenshot of it or scan it with your phone if you're not watching on your phone. And you too can learn how to make this cute little box that has 
a package of tea in it. Isn't that neat? That cute little box could be for anything. And then she put a, it's got um, a magnet in it to hold it shut. All right, now I have to fold this up and put it inside so I don't lose it. Because I like to know who these things are from. Go. Okay, put that in the 3D pile. Oh, and Kathy Howes. Oh my gosh, Kathy Howes, somebody I just met this weekend. She has got to be the biggest hoot I've ever met in my entire life. We laughed so hard two nights in a row that tears were running down our legs and we were snorting. So she made this beautiful paperclip. Isn't that neat? Put that in there like that. And I think I'll put this one back in the bag so I don't lose it. Okay, that goes in there. Oh, another 3D thing. So you still there? Haven't lost you yet? Still watching? This is by Sharon Dungan from Kentucky. And it is a post-it note holder with a little mini calendar on it. And it stands up. See? I usually do a calendar for my um, my open house for the new catalog when it comes out. The winter one comes out. Maybe I need to case this. She even gives, look, they even gave me the instructions of how to do it. So if you come to my um, new catalog launch party in September, you can make one of these. And if you watch virtually, let me know. If I get them done, then I can send you a, a kit. It might not be till after, but I will do my best. So look for information on that coming to a station near you. I love that calendar too. It is really cute. Oh, good. Kathy's still there. Okay. So another book from Kathy Howes. She likes going and buying stationary supplies. So she just threw a whole bunch of pens. There's a highlighter and a pencil and a couple of different pens. And this book. Now, I have not seen, I have not seen these foldover clips. Look, this one has a face on it. <laughs> I love it. And this book, she made, she made this little thing on it. So it's got a ribbon on it. And on the end of the ribbon is the top from Leanne, if you're still there, what did she say? I can't remember what she said this is from. Something that I don't have. I can't remember. But anyways, you you do your, your writing in here, and then you put this in here like this, and it keeps your, page, your place for you. And this book she brought back from Italy. They were, her and her hubby went to Italy this summer and did a, some touring around, and she brought back these books. And I got one and I'm so excited. I don't know. I can't remember what that end of that is from. But it's one of our dies. And if you recognize it, tell me what it is. Put these back in here. I don't know where she got these cute bags either. They've got little handles on them. So they're Ziploc or a Ziploc bag. And they got a little handle on it. Okay, this card I'm going to save for later because that is a truly special one. Balloon set? Yeah, probably is. I agree with you. Okay. Stamping with Kelly Entz. This is a fancy fold card. I don't have this paper. I didn't realize it's got printing on it. Can you see the printing on there? 
I like that notebook too. That's interesting. Okay. Put that in there. And that goes in my fancy fold pile. I've got a fancy fold pile and a, just a card pile. How long are you going to want to hang around here? Well, I undo because I've got like this many to go through. So we'll go another 15 or 20 minutes. This one is by, oh, Kathy Howes. See, some demonstrators did so much. So there's this. And um, it's just a, it goes on a, sorry, this fell off. I wanted to tell you about that before it came off. So it just opens up like this and that's where you do your writing, but it's got a bookmark on it, a little corner bookmark. And it comes off. So now you can, um, if you're reading a book, you can stick this on the page that you're reading and you won't lose your place. As long as I care to go. I haven't even looked at these yet. We looked at them briefly on the, um, sitting on the beds, laughing our heads off. But, you know, you're giggling so much and people are looking at so... We tried to keep them all straight because there must have been like 300 swap cards to look at. This one is by Jamie Cullip. Oh, isn't that... Oh, look. Oh, I've done this fun fold before. This is how you get to see both sides of that designer paper. So I haven't got this paper yet. It was supposed to arrive Monday and it's not here yet. This is the, the fall paper in the new catalog. So look for this be released on the 6th of September. Yes, I am going to have a lot to demonstrate, Marcia. That's why I took part in the fun fold one. This is so pretty. Look at that. And then you open it and you get the back side of that is all blingy. Can you see that? Oh, that's gorgeous. And I didn't get this fall set. This is the, the, the new leaves set. I love that. Of course, I love them all. Like this one. Oh, there it is. Is a gift card holder. Harry Bigelow. There's the instructions. Cool. She even put bling in there. Like that. All right. This one. There it is. Just want to make sure before I go flinging things around that where the, the person's name is. So this one is by Holly Sutton. Let's take it out of the inside. And we'll put it on the back. There we go. So it opens. It's just a car, a flat card, and it opens up this way. Interesting. I would put this on a card base and put decoration on the inside. But isn't that pretty? It's a great way to show off your designer paper. This one is joy. Come on, I don't want to lose you. Okay, this one is by Chris Carmichael. Oh, that's cute. Look at this. Look at those little dudes on the front. Love it. Let's tuck that in there. Oh, comes another one of these. Diagonal fold things. This is Lisa Bowden. Ooh, I've got, I haven't got this designer paper, but those are those gorgeously made dies. I love those. Ooh. Yep, we're definitely going to be making some of these cards on Thursday, maybe even on Monday. Oops, stay in there.
and another one. Christine McNichol. And it opens up. Oh, it's an easel card. Look, it's an easel card. And it's on little, it's on wings. And then you pop it up against one of the little flowers in there. That's cute. I love that sentiment. Sunshine and rainbows. I'll put this inside so I don't lose it. All right. Cheryl Hamilton. Oh, it's a corner tuck card. Well, that's cute. And we got a new stamp set coming. That goes with that one. It is called Your Wishes. And it's all about Christmas and New Year's. And it's the same thing as that one. Let's tuck that in there. That's I haven't done a corner tuck card in a long time. And this is that ice cream set. Who missed the beginning? Valerie, you're late again. It's all right. That's why I do it on live on here. Because then you can go back and watch the replays. And this one is by Kaz Hurst. Oh, this is different. Oh my God, do you see this? So it folds, it goes flat in an envelope. And then it kind of pops up. So that's in the center. And it stands like that. That card is stunning. And I love that fold. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Sending you a handmade hug. This is one of my favorite papers. And in the new catalog, there's even more. There's um, more of these fun papers. Now this, I have to get a post-it note because I got nowhere to put that. So I put a post-it note, then I put some tape, then I put this on top of it, and it sticks there and I don't lose it. Oh, I like that. That is gorgeous. It does look like a star, Yvonne. You're right. Right, let's get this one out. That's why I like doing fun folds, because you get everybody else's ideas. Sunny Stampin'. Why would you put that on there and then waste an envelope? Oh, wait, maybe it's coming off. So I reuse these envelopes. See if I can get it off. I can put it on her. That's a good idea to have those stickers. I tried to get some stickers made, but it didn't work out. This is called the pop-up slider card. Pop-up slider card. Oh, that's one of these. So you pull it. You pull it. There we go. You pull it straight and it pops up. Can you see? See that? We haven't made one of those for a while either. And then has there and it has there. And it has that coffee set that I didn't get because I don't drink coffee. And this is that um, designer paper that goes with the astronaut. That's cute. Good thing I have this here because now I need another one. A pop-up slider card. It is very cool, Kathy. Right. Okay, now let's see what this is. Come stamp with me. Let me show you how easy creativity can be by Michelle Sturgeon. 
This is thick. Look at how thick this is. There's something in there. Ooh. Oh, I love these cards. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Okay. I really hate to be picky, but... No, it's nothing against the card. The card is gorgeous. You see that piece of paper is upside down? <laughs> Oops. But, I mean, it's really easy to turn it around. Just pull it off. Because she used stamp and seal. So it comes off. And we'll just turn it around. Put it on there the right way. Here we go. Fixed. Oh, that's gorgeous. Tuck that in there. Love the colors. Blackberry Bliss and Fresh Freesia, two of my favorite colors. Then she's added a bit of um, soft sea foam on there. You did pandas on it? Oh, yes, we did. I, I've done a couple of those. We're going to have to have fun full night every week. I have a fun full night every week. Who is that? Marsha. I have a I have enough stuff now that I don't have to go looking for fun fold cards for probably almost six months. Okay, this is Julie DiMatteo. Oh, Julie, she's so fun. She has the cutest smile. Look at this. God, so cute. Oh, Debbie, you got to go. Houston in March. Houston in March. If you are a demonstrator, start saving now because it is going to be epic. And you don't have to sign up for these organized swaps. You don't because um, you sign up for what you want. I wanted to sign up to sign up for an organized swap. I wanted to sign up for a fun fold swap so that I could get a lot of fun folds. Yes, she's the paper pixie, Kathy, that's right. I have a picture of me with her at some point, her and Jamie Babarsi too. I go down there and it's like I'm meeting royalty. Because I will follow them, I watch them, I case them. And Jacinth Gautier put her sticker on the envelope. Naughty, naughty, naughty Jacinth. Jacinth is from Quebec. And another fun fold. I have all the stuff to do this. What is it inside? Oh, it's a gatefold card on the inside. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Okay, ladies, we'll be doing this one, too. To put that with that, because I can't get it off. Then we have another card by Ale Alejandra Gomez. Another fun fold. Another person that put their name on a, the envelope. Oh, double flap fold. Yes, like that. What a bright, cheery Christmas card. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I love all those colors. Bright and cheery. Hey. Oh, this one is by my friend Sherry. Sherry Pearson. She was my bedmate down there. And Sherry didn't have time to complete her card. So we were all sitting on the bed. Who's in Texas? Who's in Texas? Alejandro Gomez? Is that the one you're talking about? Who is that? Marsha, is that the one you're talking about? Alejandro? Alejandra? Okay, so anyways, um, we were all sitting on the bed helping Sherry get her cards finished. I was in charge of the the belly band. So I want to put the belly band. It doesn't fit in the envelope. That's why I, it was in there. Ah, I haven't heard of her, but apparently she makes amazing cards. 
So this is um, uses the new the new Halloween stuff that's in the new catalog. So it's got a belly band, and this is glow in the dark. Now I can't show it to you because it's not going to glow. I don't think you can just barely see it glowing in there. Anyways, take my word for it. That's glow in the dark. So you take the belly band off, off and you open it up. Look at this. Isn't that fun? I might have to get this sweet just for to make this card. This paper back here is glow in the dark paper. And Valerie, if I still had some of your glow in the dark embossing powder, I would use it for this, but I used it all. Well, I had a little tiny bit left and I can't find it, but I did use it. So this is glow in the dark and this is glow in the dark. So when it's dark, I wonder if I turned the lights off, if I could show you. Hang on, I'm gonna go turn the lights off. I know, it's gonna be a bit weird. I don't know if it's gonna work. There's still light from my phone, but you can see, see how that glows in the dark? You see it? That's the little ghost on the front. And then open this up and it glows in the dark. Isn't that cool? So the bat and the thing in the back glows in the dark. So all this stuff is coming. It's just, it was supposed to be here Monday, but the road was closed on Tuesday. So it's always a day late because of the, the road closure. And then it was closed on all day Tuesday, so which is when it would have come. And now it was supposed to come today. And now it's coming tomorrow, maybe. Who said that? Oh, Leanne, you are still there. Do it without all the extra cardstock in there. Yes, we could do that. There's a lot of work in this card because it's does it's cardstock, and then she had to cut all those pieces of des designer paper. I'm going to have to um, take this apart and figure out how to make it. So stay tuned. Is there? The only thing with this is there's nowhere to write. So you'd have to put your writing on the back. It's whatever it is. It's absolutely stunningly cute. And the belly band is the best because, you know, I did that. <laughs> it's all, it's all in, um, the folds, the scoring and the folding and stuff. Okay, I have to put an elastic band around these because they're starting to fall over and I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to lose some of the names out of them. So, so let me put this around here so I can put them down there. There we go. Just about at the end of my fun folds. This one is by Karen Morgan in Oregon. So don't forget while you're watching this, if you think it's a good video, hit those emojis. So Facebook knows what you think. Look at this. Oh, and today I saw one. Um, if you joined me last night, you would have seen me working with the latest paper pumpkin kit. Uh oh, who's pouring rain? Oh, Valerie. That's good because you guys need the rain. Um, the paper pumpkin kit. She made one out of the paper pumpkin kit. And there was that that flower that we stamped the sentiment on over the side. So she attached it with, it did exactly this fold, exactly this fold. And then this piece was that flower piece. And she attached it here with dimensionals. It is. It was gorgeous. I like that. That is a really cool fold. We haven't done that fold yet either, have we? Okay, who says it's raining there too? 
Oh, is it raining here, Holly? <laughs> Holly lives where I live. So apparently it's raining where we are. I haven't been outside and my windows are all closed, so I can't tell. We need the rain. We desperately need the rain. Okay. This one is by Robin Greer. Oh, that's cool. Like that. It's a nice fold. What would you put on this? Would you leave it? If you were going to make this card, would you leave that plain like that because it looks gorgeous? Or would you put something on there? And then underneath here is where you would write. I like that. I, think I've, I don't think I've done this one yet. I think this is one of um, Susan Campfield's folds, if I am remembering correctly. Food set. Oh, I remember now, Leanne. Yes, you did do this on one of your Facebook Lives. And did you put something in here? It is one of Susan's. Yeah. Oh, Holly's door is open. Oh, and there's there's the sirens. Every time I go live, there's sirens. It's sad. You cased it. Well, you cased. You changed things, though. You didn't do it exactly. Okay, this one's by Karen Morgan. Also from Oregon. So this must be the end of my fun folds. And this is getting into my general swaps now. I like how she made a frame around here. There's that twisted rope embossing folder in behind. Kathy says she'd be tempted to put something on that paper. Oh, Lena says it's raining over there too. So Lena, it's coming from me to you across to Valerie. That's pretty. And I like how people are starting to use those leftover pieces of designer paper on the bottom of their cards. I'm prepping for my um, trucking along class today. And I did that in one of my class, on one of my cards. Okay, this one is by Vicky Ware from New Zealand. There was people from all over the world there. Could I send some rain to Texas? Oh, I wish I could. Oh, Marsha, I would gladly send some to you guys. I don't have, this is one of those um, emboss, the, what do they call those embossing folders? Hybrid embossing folder, the one with the doilies and you can put the doily die inside it. It's pretty. That must be paper, designer paper in back there. Let's read. Oh, no, it's not. She made that background. Boho ink on a stamp case. And then put isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it. And then put her, like, say this is the case. You put the, the, um, ink on the case, take the rubbing alcohol and smear it around. And then you take your cardstock like this and put it on top. And that's how she got that background. Oh. Holly, I did get some amazing cards. There was, I tell you, there's nothing like a bunch of Stamping Up demonstrators getting together to create Synergy and the cards are amazing. This one is by Sherry Waite. And she doesn't say where she is. Oh, but she did something you're not supposed to do on a swap. You're not supposed to stamp your cards, but that's okay. She can take she can take responsibility for this card. <gasps> oh my god. God, that is stunning and layered. So this is the textured shimmer paper. And this is made out of um, bubble bath, lemon lolly, 
and lemon lime twist and this ribbon i don't i don't think i have that ribbon and then she made a, a bow but she cut the ribbon in half and added a bit of that silver twine to it oh stunning look at that bow and she even did the inside too oh my goodness gracious that and then she used my favorite adhesive back what do they call it sparkle gems on there it's gorgeous love 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 so if you come into my catalog launch party in september you're going to see all these hanging on my inspiration wall so you'll be able to look at them up close oh my friend melva i've known melva for like 45 years she went to university with my sister there you go gorgeous card lots of texture in these i didn't get this set of dies did you get this set has anybody got this set of dies that's really pretty. Yeah, I don't want to cover that card up because it's so gorgeous. We're losing people. We were up to 19. We're now down to 13. So people are dropping off. But that's okay. They can come back and watch the replay. This one is Diane Inkster, one of my silver sisters. Uses the, the bow punch. Some of that gorgeous designer paper that I don't have. That's pretty. I love bubble bath and misty moonlight together. Is it misty moonlight or is it night and navy? Night and navy. Sorry. I was wrong. Oh, everybody's saying they're here. Yay, thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, somebody says she has it but hasn't used it yet. Leanne has it. Kathy has it. It's worth it. Oh, maybe I'll have to get them. Maybe I'll have to get. I can't get everything, can I? Can do you think I can get everything? What do you think my hubby would say? He wouldn't care. Wouldn't care in the least. Joe Golden from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Now, have you ever watched? Oh, what's the name of that show? Lieutenant, it's a crime show. It takes place in Colorado Springs. And every time I, oh, somebody's leaving. Who said Connie? Thanks, Connie, for hanging out. And I'll be back tomorrow night with a fun fold. This one, it's Joe Golden from Colorado Springs. Pretty. A lot of people use that designer paper. And this one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Constance Wurtz from hmm, Denmark. That is cute. Oh, look at how she's done this. It must be with the. Masks, the new bass masks. I don't have those masks yet. They're being ordered. And then I don't have the, I don't have that ribbon. And I, these are the, some speckled dots that are in the new catalog. Yes, Valerie, you need to get glow in the dark paper. I wish I, if it comes tomorrow, I'll show it during my Facebook live. So it's a gorgeous card. A lot of work on that one. Holy man. And this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't give credit because this one's not in anything. There's that technique that we've done before where you put the ink on a block and put the block on the paper. Um, I think that is inked and tiled stamp set. Very pretty. Oh, and it's got strip of designer paper or cardstock. Cardstock. 
Oh, that's cool. She's used um, the stem in there to create some really cool designer paper and the cross hatch embossing folder. And this one, we're, I'm getting down. I think I've, oh, Leanne's is coming up next. Leanne, I'm going to show your card. Okay, this one is by Lisa Lem Lemons from Wisconsin. And it's a book fold card. Just have to be careful when you make those book folds that you don't bind in the fold. Isn't that pretty? I don't have that set. I do not. That's okay. I got one in a swap. Okay, you ready for Leanne's card? Get what paper? This paper? It, it, yeah, that's what winter, winter. Winter something. Okay, here comes Leanne's card. My friend Leanne from, from, yes, thanks, Kathy, Winter Meadow. Drum roll, yes, drum roll. Well, hi, Marg. So nice to have you visiting us. Okay, so. Leanne's name, her last name is Livingston. Her business name is Dead Rock. Living Dead Stone Rock. Do you get it? Dead Rock Livingston. Hi, Carla. I keep telling her she has to tell us what her name is from because it's a really cool story. Okay, here's her card. Look at all the work she did. <coughs> Oh, and here's that fold. Remember the fold she said, Leanne said she did? It's the same fold as that other one. Uh-oh. I need to take a drink. Hang on. Too much talking. Look at the work on this. And it's Hey Chuck is the stamp set that she used. It is funny. It is absolutely hilarious. And she needs to start telling people that. So tell her right now. Tell her, Leanne, you need to start telling people where you got your name from. And I like how you've decorated in here as well. And then there's a little piece in there to write on. Cool card. I'm so excited I got one. She did a she did a whole bunch of these and look at this all this coloring she did. Oh, Leanne, you're so talented. Okay, I think I have three left. Can you hang in that long? Uh, okay, this one is by Karen. Oh, this is my friend Karen from Arizona. You remember the one that gave me the the um, T-shirt and the sucker with the scorpion in it? Leanne did an amazing job on that card. She is so talented. Okay, this is gorgeous. I don't, I really like the shabby chic look and I don't do it enough, but she used blotches. This is that meadow, whatever that meadow stamp set is called. Isn't that pretty? She did a little bit of a torn edge here. This is the new embossing folder. It's called Distressed Tile Embossing Folder, and she's inked it up afterwards, like taken a, a blending brush and gone over top of it and give it some texture. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, this one uses the Very Cute stamp set, which is what we're using for our um, Winter Creative Escape. This is by, oh, this is Vaccines. So this is another one of my accountability partners, the one I roomed with. And this is, this is the paper. So she just cut this right out of the paper and it's a spanner card. And we're doing a spanner card in 
the class. So the winter create the cre winter creative escape is mostly about simple, easy fun folds, nothing fancy, things that pack that give you the wow factor, but are really easy to do. So we're going to make um, six cards and you're going to get tutorials for at least nine. I love this bundle too. So registration is open now. There's virtual one is the 28th of October. The in-person one is the 21st of October. And if you live outside Canada, there's a tutorial option and you can join us. You're, you do your own kits because I can't send you the kits. I will send you the pillow gifts, however. And um, then you can join us for the virtual class. Arctic bear set? Is that from the annual catalog, Val? This is cute. I love I love spanner cards. And usually I put my spanner on the front and she's put her spanner on the back. So there's so many different ways you can do these. And the very last card is by Shauna Mc... Now I say Mickaluck, but that's not what she said. And I she's got a way of saying it that I don't understand. She's one of my silver sisters. And I don't remember how she pronounced it. But this is the, what's it called? Come on, tell me what's this called? It's in the new catalog. Demonstrators have had um, translucent, translucent floral bundle. Oh, last year's mini, okay. This is pretty. And, you know, I didn't think I liked this stamp set, but this card might have changed my mind because this is gorgeous. Shauna is really good at clean and simple cards. Isn't that stunning? Well, oh, the only one I got left is this one. This one is... An amazing, amazing, amazing card. It is by Jenna Gifford from Australia. And she even did all the instructions. Anyways, are you ready for this? Everybody get close to your TVs because you're going to want to see this. So it has a belly band on it. Now I've done this type of card. I did it with the... Um, playing in the rain. Do you remember the playing in the rain and I had frogs on it? You ready for th this? I tell you, there is so much work into this. You ready? Look at this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen monkeys. And she may had to make at least 20 of these for the swap. So that's like 340 monkeys. Isn't that cute? She showed a picture of the, the monkeys all stamped and punched out. And she said, this is what 340 monkeys look like. Oh, Marsha. I did this on one of my... Um, Facebook lives on Thursday night. I did this. I did this thing. Um, this fold. It's really easy to do. Really easy to do. Because it's all in the folding and the, the fan. Um. Let me go to my YouTube channel because it's on my YouTube channel too. Let me see if I can find it and I'll put the link in my video. I'll put the link in the comments if I can find it. It was a while ago. I'm working on it. Oh, where 
is it? I know it's in there somewhere. It's on my blog too. Well, it's just a matter of going to my blog or my YouTube channel and finding that post. Let me, I'm still looking. I know you guys are probably, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it in the comments. So there, here's the, the link to my blog post that has, that has the um, tutorial, the link to the video tutorial on how to make this, this type of card, not this one, because mine used playing in the rain and it had frogs in it, but it's the same, same fun fold. It's really easy. Oh, Kathy, you got to pick, figure that out because I'd love to see the one you made with the coffee. This is so cute. Yes. Beautiful cards. So that's it. That's all I have for you. I took an hour and a half to go through. That's not bad. Just do this. Hi. <laughs> so. Yes, they are amazing cards, and I've got, they've got stacks. This is all the fun folds. I won't include that one because I've already done that one. But look at, look at all the fun fold. Oh, of course I can't see because I flipped it over. Look, I've got all those fun folds to choose from. Oh, you're very welcome, Marcia, and Norma. And Kathy, Carmen, Lena. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And Debbie. Um, I love sharing. So tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, I will be doing a fun fold of some sort. Um, what am I doing? Oh, a collar fun fold. A collar fun fold was not in here at all. So it's going to be another one to see. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow and I will see you here in my VIP group at 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific time for another fun fold. Stamp and smile. Bye for now. And oh, don't forget to register for the Winter Creative Escape. You got until the 1st of September to be in for the early bird and get three bonus tutorials. Thanks, everybody. Stamp and smiles. Bye.